All right, YouTube, how's everybody? Today, I wanted to go over my old, old, old Suno generations. These are from like a long time ago, right? Like, <laughs> let's see if I can um, check the properties on this. Uh, 15th of September, so a while, a while ago now, all right. I think it's like one of the earliest ones here and that was done with like version one. I'm sure there's some that are probably earlier as well. Um, however, what I want to do is just, let's just go through and talk about the progress of things and what's to come. You can see here I've got some uh, art up here, like for the thumbnails already generated and stuff. Got some in here as well. These are also earlier generations. However, I think these are all using version 2 of Suno. These ones you see here are all version 1. And uh, yeah. I just wanted to go through a little bit of uh, you know, what they sound like and, you know, to kind of, I guess, document the progress of both of Suno AI and uh, the music that I'm going to be uploading soon uh, as well. Because, you yeah, know, it's been a lot of fun working on these things in the background, just putting some tunes together. Uh, let's see. Let's start with, like, this one. So this is supposed to be, like, a... I think this was literally, like, one of the... These two here were, like, a couple of the first ones I did do. Uh, and these bluegrass ones here because they, they've still got the word chirp in them and these are from version 1 of Suno so let's have a quick li listen to this because I think it's like 30 seconds So you can see here, I was trying to get an uh, opera style according to the Suno text there. And I thought like this was one of the first ones where I was like, man, this thing can actually do voices. Because that was kind of like what I was trying to get here was how do I get Suno to not sound completely robotic? But I think it was actually like one of these acapellas where I was like, man, this thing can actually work. And this was back with version one, right? Now this... It, Hawk vs. Pigeon one's not too good, but uh, fair warning, these aren't, I haven't normalized the sound on these, so be aware of, you know, headphone users uh, having it up too high or too loud, okay? Just just a fair warning. Uh, you know, try and normalize, like, well, don't normalize it yourself, but like, bring it down a bit, just in case, and then turn your volume up as you need to, right? Because uh, I believe this A, B, C, D, E, F, G one uh, can pop a little loud, I just can't remember these how loud the others are exactly, right? See? Now this one here, I'm gonna play it again. This one here was actually supposed to be a, uh, I was testing to see if I can get it to sing two different voices where they uh, rap battle against each other. Now, I did have these lyrics. I think these lyrics were generated by Suno as well. Because, uh, again, this, these were early tests, just to see how it goes. Obviously, it wasn't very epic as far as rap battles go. Uh, and it didn't do the different voices either. However, back in the day of version 1, you could sometimes get it to do different voices. It just didn't... It was a lot more difficult than it is these days with uh, version 3 out. Uh, let's see. So we got a banjo bluegrass <laughs> attempt. With 
the banjo in hand He sings so sad of the treasures he's had The life he's had It's not too bad. You can tell the AI wrote it though. <laughs> um, I actually think I used a... Oh, it was like a... Uh, LLM called like Raven or something. I can't remember exactly, but it, it's not the best. It wasn't the best language model. However, um, I was able to use it to generate some things quickly and just threw them into Suno to see how it would handle it right. And you can see here how it's just like it's not very, it's not the best. And I was basing it on an old song. It goes something like, uh, "A cave in the hillside where I hide. I'm a big bad." Ranger, or something. I think it's Big Bad Bush Ranger or something, but uh, it was like based kind of like in my head. Uh, I was thinking like base, trying to go with like that kind of theme, uh, just to see how well it would do like banjo, bluegrass kind of stuff, right? Because I was like, I really need a banjo song, all right? <laughs> and uh, here's another attempt, say. In a dark cave where moonlight dreams, lives a man with secrets Stole the gold hidden away from sight. He'll guard it fiercely through the night. Oh, the men in the cave with stolen gold. His story has never been told. With a banjo in hand, he sings so sad. Of the treasures he's had and the life he's had. Now you see, I feel like the music was a lot better, but you can tell like. The voice is very uh, AI voice right there, right? And uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's a good bit of fun, like little 30 second chirps, as they say. Pretty cool. Now we can do up to, you know, a minute to two minutes now. Uh, even as a free user, two minutes Suno AI version 3. And uh, let's have a look. Um, I think after those, I tried acapellas because at the time, we're actually listening a lot to um, some acapella YouTube channels uh, because uh, the little one, Vivi, is, she just loves it. Like she, she can't get enough of it. And she'll just watch the, uh, you know, like they have like little, little individual boxes of each instrument being done with the vocals or the, you know, beating of the hands or stomping of the feet and stuff, right? And the, the little uh, video comes up in like a nine by nine or whatever. I... He's just, just, just fascinated by it, right? I was quite, you know, I was like, man, that stuff is cool, right? Cool. I want to I wanna swear, but I don't want to swear at the same time for this video. But it's cool as... Right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, I was like, well, let's try acapellas. Because, you know, it's very vocal. I wonder how well it was trained on, you know, how well Suno was trained on acapellas back then. But again, uh, I think these are all still version 1, so don't hold your breath. Uh, so this is solo voice when I was trying to get uh, background music. Yeah. In the so you can see here I'm going uh, acapella medley, no background music, what it says. Not sure, I can't get that down. The realm of circuits I okay. came alive. An AI with a voice yearning to stride through lines of cold. Melodies unfold, a song of the machine as my story's told. Singing in the shadows, my voice takes flight. Breathing life into the binary night. Unleashing emotions beyond the machine. My soul in the symphony forever unseen. Now that one, obviously, very robotic voice came out. And it was about AI, so I didn't mind that too much. Because it's, you know, AI singing about itself, right? And now let's try this one. Uh... I think this was the original one, and then this was the one that I tried to uh, get done without the background music popping in, right? Because I was trying to like, I was thinking, as you can see here, there's some files here where we split the music, or where I've split the music. We've got the music and the vocals, and vocals too and stuff. So what you can do with Suno is you can uh, use RVC to voice swap, if you like, right? And that was my thought, was like, well, maybe I'd do some music, uh, splice it, cut it in half, cut the music and the vocals apart, uh, voice swap the vocals, slap them back together, and boom, I can make some fan tribute kind of songs uh, where I've now taken the vocals and swapped it to the character. And I still have plans to do things like that. I'm just kind of waiting a little longer for um, the tech 
the uh, the voice swap tech to just be a little better, or even if Suno starts dropping some uh, stuff where you can take a trained voice module and kind of use it with Suno or something. But you know that again, that's for the future. For now, I'm thinking I'm just going to do some fan tribute stuff. But we'll come back to that later. Let's have a little listen to this one because it's pretty cool. Singing in harmony, our voices unite. A cappella magic, casting pure delight. Melodies intertwine. Floating through the air, no instruments needed. Our voices declare. A cappella, a cappella, our voices entwined. Singing in harmony, a treasure we find. No need for music, our souls take flight. A cappella, a cappella, our curious delight. With AI's power, the song arose. In melodies and harmonies, it flows. No human touch, just algorithms at play. Creating music in a whole new way. Truly AI, it's a digital creation And a cappella mix, a technological sensation Unleashing innovation in every sound The future of music in AI we have found <laughs> Sorry, that click was my thumb. <laughs> Cracked. Um, but yeah, so you see I just put a cappella medley for the style. And uh, you can see kind of like the makeup of how things go here. Like verse, chorus... Uh, verse chorus like very early on I didn't know what I was doing too well the AI didn't know what it was doing too well and this is the kind of stuff that was uh, doling out right let's have a listen to the because uh, you know I was on my acapella duet male and duet female and then we'll have a listen to this because I think these uh, acapella medley yes yeah, so we got the music and the vocals and I think it's this one here and I'll show you guys how you can clean up the vocals a bit and stuff for voice swapping even well, sorry, I'll not completely show you, but like I'll show you the results of me running it through RVC, right? Of uh, something voice. I've forgotten. The, I've forgotten. I'm sorry. I've forgotten uh, what it's abbreviated for. But just search for RVC. All right, RVC AI. I'm sure it'll show up. How cool is that, right? So, like, this is like my mind was completely blown back then. And you can see it says a cappella medley, no background music again. Worked out pretty well. Uh, let's listen to the female duet one. Don't know if this one worked properly, if uh, if did no background music, but we'll see. So as you can see, even version 1 was able to do these vocal things really well, right? Uh, and so that's where my idea started, and, uh, well, time constraints given, right? <laughs> we'll see where it ends too, right? Uh, but let's see, so I think it was the acapella medley, which I want to show you guys, and you can see how, like, just prompting them basically, uh, the way that the verses and chorus is structured and stuff, but... There's a lot to that. I was thinking maybe I'll do another video on how to utilize Suno really well these days um, later on, but not for this video. This this is version one stuff, early stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. The AI didn't know what it was doing. Uh, so yeah, for now, you know, I just want to go back, look at them, share with you guys. Uh, just you know, it was a good bit of fun. So here we are with the voice split stuff, right? 
And I think it's this one. So listen again. Singing right. harmony, our voices unite. Acapella magic, casting pure delight. Mel and then we come down here. Acapella, acapella, our right. delight. With AI's power, the song the road. And then down here. Ooh, the AI, it's a digital creation, and acapella makes a technological sensation. Right, so that's that's kind of like to give you the vibe of the sound, right? And now uh, here's the vocals, the first ones, I guess. I'm not sure. I think these are, I think these are from uh, like two different um, voice splitters. Singing in harmony. Our voices unite, acapella magic, casting pure delight, melodies intertwine, floating through the air, no instruments needed, our voices declare. Acapella, acapella, our voices entwined, singing in Clean. harmony, a treasure we find. No need for music, our songs take flight. Acapella, acapella, our purest delight. With AI's power, the song arose. In melodies and harmonies it flows. No human touch, just algorithms at play. Creating music in a whole new way. It's a digital hey. creation and I yeah. a fella mix a technological sensation Unleashing innovation in every sound The future of music in AI we have found So you see how clean those vocals sound now? I mean like, you know, like, sorry, how just how clean it is in general So you, you could then run that through the voice swap and away you go, right? Now let's have a quick peek at these ones Sing in harmony, our voices unite. I can okay. the magic, casting pure delight. Melodies in They're very similar. Intertwine, floating through the air. No instruments needed, our voices declare. A cappella, a cappella, our voices entwined, singing in harmony, a treasure we find. No need for music, our songs take flight. A cappella, a cappella, our purest delight with it. It seems to have like uh, maintained more of the harmonies. The eyes power the song low. Well, the, you know, the kind of like the background singers. Rose in melodies and harmonies it flows. No human touch, just algorithms at play. Creating music in a whole new way. The AI, the AI, it's a digital creation and not a pillar mix of techno. So you can still hear a bit of the... Music kind of like, you know, the clap kind of kicked in. Logical sensation, unleashing innovation in every sound. The future of music in AI we have found. That one's probably a better version and probably why I kept it. Now, uh, here's what the music part sounds like. This is what was separated from the vocals. You see, it's kind of a little bit of a. It sounds quite messy, right? Because it's it did, like because it's a acapella, it was mostly just cleaning the vocals up. It's not like it was actually separating proper music, right? Uh, now, if I come forward a bit, all right. There it is. But yeah, as you can see, I, I bumped the mic, my bad guys. As you can see, <laughs> it works kind of okay, but I, I didn't want to be slapping that back together and trying to pass it off as the original, right? Because uh, it, it wasn't um, splitting it very well for me, as far as that one goes. I've had good successes with some other RVC stuff, but that one wasn't not too good. Now, uh, here's the vocals for the uh, female duet one. 
from which circuits I came alive. Then may I, with the voice yearning to strive, through lines of thought, melodies unfold. A song that the machine as my stories told. Singing in the shadows, my voice takes flight. Breathing life into the binary night, unleashing emotions beyond the machine. My soul in the symphony forever unseen. So again, this was all version one stuff, right? I, and it just came out sounding really good. And you can hear how well the um RBC cleaned up the vocals when you split it from like the kind of like the background noise slash music of version one. And you don't have too much of an issue with that these days with version 3. Like, yeah, you'll get some re-roll, like, you'll get some... But it's still AI, right? You're going to get rolls that aren't amazing or great. However, you do get some good stuff. And um, in my Pokey rap explanation video, I mentioned how I was originally wanting to see how well it sung the ABCs. Well, we're going to show you right now. Well, I'm going to show you right now. I don't know who we is. Everyone else is upstairs. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABC. Next time you can sing with me. Yeah? Does it not absolutely smash it? And, uh, yeah. Let's show you guys a couple of, uh, version 2 clips, right? But, like... <laughs> the way to get this stuff to work well is just to learn how to talk to the AI, like to prompt the AI, right? Like people are talking about prompt engineers and things like that. But sooner AI, it's very real. Um, from my experimentations over the last few months, uh, knowing, <laughs> well, knowing music is going to help a lot, but also knowing what uh, theory and words related to music Suno understands is going to help a lot more as well, right? And uh, for now, it is still quite basic as far as its understanding goes, but it can still pop out some bangers. So I'm going to show you guys this ABC Come With Me one because uh, these lyrics were just a quick generation by, I think they actually came out of ChatGP4. Um, unmodified, all right, fair warning. And uh, yeah, let me. No, let me know what you guys think. It's almost two minutes, but we'll go for it, all right? I think uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Version 2 of Suno, this one is. Uh, all of these ones here are also version 2. Uh, this piece from Splendor High one was before I, uh, I, I, I didn't edit the lyrics very well, so I'm a little disappointed in its uh, turnout. However, it does still sound quite pleasant, but I'm not going to show these ones today. I'm going to show this one, and these are all going to come up on uh, YouTube on their own. You can see I've got their art ready to go. Now, have a peek at this. ABC, come and sing with me. Thank you. 
<laughs> and so what I could have done there was continue it and uh, then ask for the fade out again, right? So you'll see here, I wanted to talk to you guys about the prompting here. You'll see um, we've got kids metal music clear vocals, right? And that was what I went for. I tried various things like rock, pop, etc. Um, this was the one I downloaded. And uh, you can see here I tried intro verse, right? And I don't do that anymore. Uh, like I said, I've gotten a lot better at prompting for this kind of stuff and setting it all up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now you will see that I have like A dash B dash C. Um, what I did find, at least for version two, this helped immensely in order to get it to sing correctly, uh, like the ABC parts correctly, because it did not want to do it properly um, before. It was, uh, God, I can't remember what kind of mess it was making, but it didn't sound very good, put it that way. It didn't know how to sing them individually, right? Uh, I think it was like, it was trying to make them a word instead of singing them as an individual letter. And that was what the issue was. And so once I put the dashes between them, it finally registered as an individual letter. And just, um, if I go to like this next part here again, you'll see I've got like fade out at the end. Uh, it's not very good at doing fade outs. Uh, I mean, it is, version three kind of is, but version two, often wasn't right so sometimes it listens sometimes it didn't if you used outro instead of like chorus or verse there in the the square brackets because um the square brackets help the ai register this is the next part of the song it kind of um it kind of registers it as similar to the style here like it's like okay this is an instruction for the music and not lyrics of the music right uh, of the song i guess um so it, it helps instruct them and it just it doesn't always listen to instructions put it that way uh and you'll also see that in the second part here there's nothing up the top here right so no, nothing up there and uh the reason for that is because when you continue from the first part um if you want it to sound like the first part of the song that you've generated when you're continuing you can't just leave it blank in the style section and it'll just use the style and sound of the previous generation, right? Uh, to the best of its ability. And uh, yeah, that's a quick little a quick little how-to, right? Um, you'll see here that I've put Y instead of the letter Y. Uh, that helped, again, that helped it um, pronounce the letter as Y correctly. Instead of, uh, I can't remember the exact issue version 2 was having by just having the letter Y there instead of me typing it as WHY. But this is something you can do. Uh, it's also another way to, to avoid certain filters or um, so like certain words that may or may not be um, safety blocked accidentally. Like um, uh, I'm doing like some Genshin fan songs, right? And they'll be coming out very soon. Uh, however, when I was trying to do, say, Beido, right, when I was trying to put Beido's name in her particular song, um, the issue I was having was that it was coming up as copyrighted. And I'm like, well, it's a name. You can't copyright a name, right? And so I'm not sure what the issue was. But I basically just kind of uh, changed the letters so that it, what's the word, uh, phonetically sounded the same, but was a different word written, right? I think that I think that's the uh, I think it's phonetically it's the correct uh, way to say it. I'm not too good with like music and things like that as far as like music theory, education, all that kind of stuff goes. But I do love being able to create things that sound good to me. And um, yeah, I am very keen and excited for the future of AI stuff. Outside of all the, like the nasty little misdeeds people are going to do and stuff, of course, but. You know, as far as this kind of stuff goes, um, yeah, I'm really keen for it. And uh, hopefully you guys, you know, I'll have this stuff up soon. Let's, I'll tell you what, you heard the ABC song. I'll give you guys a quick peek of, um, he's from Splendor High. When the rain falls from above, I find solace in the sky. The clouds paint a masterpiece Reflecting beauty in my eyes In the rain I see splendor high in the sky Love's tears descend 
A symphony of nature's grace where rainy days find beauty's plan. And so there you go. And you'll see I prompted for Frank Sinatra, but female singer. Because I was trying to go for, like, again, I didn't know what the F I was doing back then, right? I was thinking, well, Frank Sinatra's got a great voice. And at the time, I was doing those Frank Sinatra voice swap things. I thought, this is so back when I was working on those in December, right? And so I thought, well, I wonder if the AI will recognize this. And these days, you can't put, like, an artist in or whatever, right? This was, like, through Discord version... Sorry, no, it wasn't. It, it was um, version 2. I don't know why I'm saying the Discord. But basically, like, these days, there's uh, more safety features on there. You can't put as many, like, uh, artist names or, or, like, famous people names and stuff because it does try to prevent that from happening, right? Um, like, it, it's, it tries to prevent people from doing copyright stuff. But personally, I feel like if people are doing that, uh, like, you know, they're trying to do any kind of stuff like that. Suno probably just needs to put out some kind of thing like, yes, I acknowledge that it's my responsibility if someone comes after me for copyright. Um, Suno can't be held responsible, yada yada, right? That's, that's kind of how I feel they should approach it because then it allows for more creativity uh, and we don't need to work around, like, the, the safety features as much. But, uh, you know, the, I, I understand they're just doing their best to protect themselves and it is what it is, right? Uh, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to go over this. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Here's the thumbnail upscaled. Hey, what do you reckon? Not too bad, eh? And, uh, yeah. I'll be seeing you guys soon uh, with the other stuff. Well, I guess you won't be seeing me. You'll be seeing the music get uploaded. I'm figuring things out right now and uh, looking at the art and stuff that I've got ready for it. Like, uh, let's see, here's the upscaled one for Peace Must the High absolutely beautiful art piece here i reckon like this this is like way too good for the actual song i reckon but it is what it is and uh it'll be seeing you guys soon so uh yeah i'll uh appreciate you guys hanging out if you stuck around to the end good luck you know like i appreciate you the most <laughs> uh and yeah i'll uh see you guys around probably for the suno explanation thing when i start talking about the version 3 stuff because i'll tell you what it pops off Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.